Some things in life you should just avoid. Bad coffee, a busy road, even certain people. These though usually don't have life or death consequences. Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm your host Emily and today we are going to count down the top 10 deadliest substances on earth you should avoid at all costs. Now in this countdown there will be the mention of the term LD50. LD50 is the amount of a material given all at once which causes the death of 50 50% of a group of test animals. The LD50 is one way to measure the short term poisoning potential, acute toxicity, of a material. Toxicologists can use many kinds of animals, but most often the testing is done with rats and mice. With that in mind, let's jump into our list. Number 10 Aluminium Phosphide. Aluminium phosphide is a colorless solid that is generally sold as a gray green yellow powder due to the presence of impurities arising from the hydrolysis and oxidation. Aluminium phosphide poisoning is one of the major causes of death and health problems, especially in Asia due to metal poisoning. Exposure to this, which is commonly found in pesticides, can be fatal. If ingested, it releases phosphide gas in the presence of HCI in the stomach, which is rapidly absorbed throughout the gastrointestinal tract, leading to systematic toxic effects involving the heart, lung, kidney, liver with manifestations of serious cardiac arrhythmias, intractable shock, adocytis, and pulmonary edema. It can also lead to myocarditis, inflammation of the heart walls, and ultimately death. The LD50 value of aluminium phosphide is around 0.15 to 0.5 grams. Number 9. Ethylene glycol. Ethylene glycol is an orderless, colorless, flammable, viscous liquid. It has a sweet taste, but it is toxic in high concentrations. This chemical may be familiar to you as antifreeze or the thing you put in your motor vehicles during winter times to prevent freezing of liquids that the machine needs to function correctly. It's good for cars, but bad for our bodies. If it gets into our body, it turns into glycolic acid. From there, it attacks our central nervous system and it messes up the pH balance of our body. It and its toxic byproducts first affect the central nervous system, then the heart, and finally the kidneys. All of that leads to cytotoxic effect, which ultimately kills all living cells. Ingestion of sufficient amounts of it is fatal if untreated. It is mainly used for two purposes, as raw material and the manufacture of polyester fibers and for antifreeze formulations. Number 8. Braticotoxin Braticotoxin, first identified in the 1960s, is a poison that's found on the skin of certain frogs native to South America. It is one of the most potent poisons known to man. It takes just 2 micrograms per kilogram to be fatal, which means that a fully grown man could be killed by a dose no bigger than a few grains of salt. It's a neurotoxin, which means that it exerts its effect by preventing preventing neurons from sending electrical messages to one another, causing paralysis and eventually death. If the poison enters your bloodstream, you're likely to be dead in under 10 minutes, which means it works fast. It can be found in certain species of beetles, birds, and frogs, and there's currently no antidote, so stay away. Number 7. VX. VX is a nerve agent with the consistency of engine oil. It emerged from the ICI's research into new insecticides in the early 1950s, but proved too toxic to use in agriculture. VX kills by interfering with the transmission of nerve messages between cells. This requires a molecule called acetylcholine. After acetylcholine has passed on its message, it needs to be broken down, otherwise it'll keep sending the message, by an enzyme catalyst is called acetylcholine esterase. VX stops this enzyme from working, so muscle contractions go out of control and you die of asphyxiation. Nerve agents were made by both sides during the Cold War, but VX became particularly well known after featuring in a Hollywood blockbuster film, The Rock. Only one person is known to have been killed by VX, a former member of the Um Shrinko cult, though some 4,000 sheep were killed by it in an accident in Skull Valley, Utah in 1960. 
68. It has an LD50 as little as 3 micrograms per kilogram, although some reports suggest the figure is a little higher. Number 6. Dimethylmercury Dimethylmercury was first identified in 1858 and is a simple little molecule consisting of central mercury atom bonded with two methyl groups. The toxic effects of mercury are known to pretty much everyone, but few are aware that the liquid metal on its own is actually fairly harmless. It can't bind to any tissue on the body on its own, therefore it can't be absorbed. Dimethylmercury on the other hand is a colorless liquid that is highly volatile, reactive, and flammable. It is one of the strongest known neurotoxins with a quantity of less than 0.1 milliliters capable of inducing severe mercury poisoning resulting in death. It is easily absorbed through the skin into the blood and transported all around the body where it can exert its toxic effect. The true dangers of working with this came to light in 1996 when chemist Karen Wetherhon accidentally spilled two drops of the chemical on her glove while working in a lab. Assuming that the latex would prevent the chemical from coming into contact with her skin, she didn't worry about it. But after a few months, she began to exhibit signs of cognitive impairment. Slurred speech, difficulty thinking, and fatigue soon gave way to a coma. After five months, her coma finally ended in death and the result was her coming into contact with this chemical. Number 5. Potassium cyanide. Potassium cyanide, first identified in 1752, is a type of salt, but not the kind you'd season your food with. It's colorless, similar in appearance to sugar, and it's highly soluble in water. It's incredibly toxic and has gained notoriety for being the choice ingredient in pills for spies and soldiers around the world. The moist solid emits small amounts of hydrogen cyanide due to hydrolysis, which may smell like bitter almonds. Not everyone, however, can smell cyanide. The ability to do so is a genetic trait. The taste of potassium cyanide has been described as acrid and bitter, with a burning sensation. The nicest thing that can be said about this is that it offers a quick death. It disables cellular respiration, the process by which cells make energy, by inhibiting an enzyme that's essential essential in ATB production. ATB is the primary energy currency of the body, and the ability to make it is the key to well living. Within a few minutes of consuming potassium cyanide, victims fall unconscious and then suffer brain death. It can be found in gold mining, organic synthesis, and electroplating. Smaller applications include jewelry for chemical gliding and buffering, and thankfully there is an antidote, but you'd have to act quick. Number 4. Chlorine Trifluoride Chlorine trifluoride, also known as substance N, was discovered by German scientists during the Second World War. The German party initially attended to have their soldiers Soldiers used it to melt through alley bunkers, but after years of research, they determined it was just too unstable. That's right, the chemical was too destructive for the German party. Its colorless, poisonous, corrosive, and extremely reactive gas condenses into a pale greenish yellow liquid, the form in which it's mostly often sold. It's extremely volatile and will react explosively with just about anything. It's been known to set fire to glass, sand, rust, and of course, people. It can even cause asbestos, one of the most fire retardant substances in existence, to catch fire. The United States briefly tinkered with it and attempted to transport a ton into a specialized tanker. This turned out to be a horrible idea as the tanker crashed and the substance spilled out onto the concrete floor of a warehouse and set fire to it. It ate through the concrete completely along with a good few feet of dirt and gravel beneath. This chemical is used in plasma cleaning and etching operations in the semiconductor industry and in nuclear reactor fuel processing as a component in rocket fuels and other industries industrial operations. Fluoroantimonic acid. Fluoroantimonic acid is the strongest acid in the world. Ever heard of sulfuric acid? Well, it's about 10 quadrillion times stronger than that. The compound can eat through plastics and glass and can melt the skin from your bones and still want more. The only way it can be stored is in Teflon containers, which are resistant to its corrosive effects. When studying it, science aren't even able to use a normal glass beaker unless they dilute it by a factor of thousands. This acid also reacts violently with water. Due to this, it's fatal if it's swallowed or inhaled and it can cause severe burns if it comes in contact with skin. This acid is considered a super acid. So 
stay away. Number two, dimethyl cadmium. Dimethyl cadmium is considered by many chemists to be the most toxic chemical known to man. It's a colorless, high toxic liquid that fumes in air. Because cadmium is lighter than mercury, the organic compound is more volatile. It absorbs instantly into the bloodstream and rips apart the organs that need the highest supply of blood, including the heart and lungs. If by some miracle, a person manages to survive the initial exposure, the danger certainly isn't over. Dimethyl ocadium is highly carcinogenic, meaning that it causes cancer. If that isn't bad enough, it also explodes in water and decomposes into dimethanol calcium peroxide, which is highly explosive. It can easily be called the most dangerous chemical known to man. Due to this, majority of the world's chemists refuse to work with it, and it's no surprise. Number 1. Botulinum Toxin Scientists differ about the relative toxicities of substances, but they seem to agree that botulinum toxin produced by anaerobic bacteria is the most toxic substance known to man. Its LD50 is tiny, at most 1 nanogram per kilogram can kill a human. It was first identified as a cause of food poisoning due to incorrectly prepared sausage in the late 18th century Germany. There are several botulinum toxins, with type A being the most potent. These are polypeptides, consisting of over a thousand amino acid molecules joined together. They cause muscle paralysis by preventing the release of the signaling molecule, the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. Botulinum toxins are among the most potent toxins toxins known. Intoxication can occur naturally as a result of either a wound or intestinal infection or by ingesting form toxin in food. This causes the disease botulism which can result in difficulty breathing, muscle paralysis, and death. Well that's all for our list of the top 10 deadliest substances on earth you should avoid at all costs. I'm your host Emily, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.